Now, a lot of lists in Lua tend to get really big. It's not just four items in your inventory. It could be hundreds. There could be thousands of players on your game. There could be thousands of models or inventory items you can purchase from a store. And so you need a, an easier way to kind of loop through or go through the list and deal with individual items. Sometimes you're creating, let's say, trees of a forest, for example. And you don't want to write a thousand lines of code, right, of adding all those items or getting those items and those items could change. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a basic way of doing a for loop. There's a lot of type of for loops. Loops are ways of writing three lines of code at a bare minimum, and it'll go through no matter how big the array is. The array could be four items, it could be 4,000 items, and this for loop will work. So you need to have some kind of variable to start with. So we're just going to say i equals one. So we're going to start at item one of this list here, and we're going to stop at four because there's four items. So I want you to stop here. And then every time you run, I want you to add one. So next time we go through this line of code, it'll increase. And we'll show you what that one is in a minute. So let's go to do. And every time, it looks like this is only one line of code, right? If you say I. It looks like this is one line of code, this print statement. But this print is actually going to run four times because we said start at one run until you get to item four. And the way it gets to item four is it adds one each time. So think of it like I is one, I is two, I is three, and I is four. So let me print that out and I'll show you how it looks. So see how it printed out one, two, three, four? That's because I, the variable, was changed each time. So the first time it starts at one, but then the next time it gets run again as two because you added one to it. And so if we change this to two, it would only run two times because it's one, three, and it stopped because if it added two, it would be above four. So it just stops. So it runs twice. So one is the most common way because you're looping through one, two, three, four, right? It's a very common way. So we can use this feature of this I that kind of auto increments or, you know, gets added one each time to print each inventory item. So we'll say print inventory I. And you can see it's printing the first item, the second item, third and fourth. And so this loop doesn't matter how big this is. It could be thousands of items and this inventory will go through. Now, the problem with this four here is it's what's called hard coded. It's a value that's not dynamic. We've used something called a magic number. So remember how I talk about these magic variables that just exist and you can use them. Magic numbers are generally frowned upon for some places because they mean that it's hard coded. It doesn't make the code very flexible and it could basically break easily. So we're going to change and use that special feature of array lists or arrays or tables to say the length. So that way, if the inventory changes at any time, I'll always print it out four in this case, right? Four times. Or if I delete the last item, I literally have to touch none of the code and the loop still works, right? It prints out three things. And so that's how you make loops a little bit more flexible to loop through lists.